If there was a face we could put on a hug, it would belong to actress Loretta Devine. From her early beginnings on Broadway to her unforgettable characters on the big and small screens, Miss Loretta is truly divine. Whether it's making us laugh, cry, and everything in between, for nearly 50 years, her captivating performances, warm personality, and the mastery of her craft prove Loretta Devine deserves legendary status. Loretta Devine made her earthly debut on August 21, 1949 in Houston, Texas. The H-Town native was raised by a single mom along with five siblings and attended the University of Houston where she earned her bachelor's in speech and drama, then went on to receive her master's in theater from Brandeis University in 1976. Okay, we see you Miss Loretta. Master's degree in hand, Loretta took her talents to the Big Apple with her Broadway debut in 1978. It was her performance in her second show, Coming Up Town, co-starring the late great icon Gregory Hines that caught everyone's attention. And in 1981, Loretta brought the character Laurel Robinson to life alongside Cheryl Lee Ralph and Jennifer Holliday in Dreamgirls. The successful play loosely based on the story of the legendary girl group The Supremes. Loretta and the cast went on to be nominated for 13 Tony Awards and winning six. A huge accomplishment with three black women leading the cast. After over 1,500 performances, the show ran for four years and was eventually developed into the 2006 box office smash featuring Beyonce, Eddie Murphy, Jamie Foxx, Jennifer Hudson, and Anika Noni Rose as Laurel, Loretta's character. It was a roller coaster seeing the movie. I had so many mixed emotions because I was so young when I did it initially. And to see it blown up in my face like that is just incredible. It was absolutely beautiful. Sharon Davis was so, the costumes, the acting, Jennifer Hudson blew my mind. I think I've never seen anyone more beautiful than Beyonce. Anika Nani Rose is just the actress. I think she's the actress to watch out for. I think we're going to be seeing so much more of her. It was just a wonderful experience. I've seen it about four or five times already. And of course, Eddie Murphy was the bomb. It was just a great, a great, great movie. In 1995, she would once again find herself working with her Broadway boo, Gregory Hines. But this time on the big screen. Whitney Houston, Angela Bassett, Layla Rashawn, and Loretta led the cast as four best friends in the Oscar award-winning film Waiting to Exhale, directed by Forrest Whitaker. Her quirky and lovable portrayal performance as Gloria Matthews earned her an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Motion Picture. What does it feel uh, coming from this organization two years now uh, winning this award? Uh, it feels like I'm, I'm doing the right thing to keep working hard is very encouraging um, and it gives a lot of promise. That promise paid off over and over again for Miss Devine. A year later in 1996, she would again co-star with Whitney Houston in The Preacher's Wife with Denzel Washington. While solidifying her place in our hearts via the big screen, she was exercising her voice literally on our televisions. Loretta has voiced countless characters throughout her career. You've heard her warm tone as Muriel on the PJs, Shirley on the Cleveland Show, and even made fans of the babies as the voice of Hallie Hippo for nearly 10 years on Disney's Doc McStuffins. Loretta's credits and award-winning performances don't stop. From 2004's powerful NAACP Image Award nominated performance in Woman Thou Art Loosed alongside Kimberly Elise, Clifton Powell, and T.D. Jakes, 2007's This Christmas with Idris Elba, Chris Brown, and Regina King, to 2010's For Colored Girls with Janet Jackson, Whoopi Goldberg, Felicia Rashad, Kerry Washington, and Anika Noni Rose, then 2020's supernatural horror film Spell with Omari Hardwick. Miss Loretta gives us range. To be nominated and to win is to say, ah, we're going to be watching that one. I've won like six or seven NAACP Image Awards, and so I hope they're proud of me because they have really been a great part of why I've succeeded. But it was only a matter of time till Emmy came calling for Loretta. Thanks to Shonda Rhimes and her juggernaut television series, Grey's Anatomy, Loretta won a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Drama Series in 2011 for her breathtaking role as Adele Weber. 
Just a year later, a Gracie Allen Award for Outstanding Female Actor in a Feature Role in 2012 had her name all over it. Loretta's accomplishments aren't just back then. Her credits are very now. A whole new generation of fans adore her work on The Carmichael Show, Blackish, lending her voice to Nickelodeon's animated series The Loud House, Netflix's Family Reunion, and her no-nonsense wise Ernestine on P-Valley. From strong black lead on the Broadway stage to amazing best friend, a dynamic wife, the best mom ever, or a powerful mystic, Miss Devon is a favorite. Loretta, I've been holding it down for decades, Devon, serves legendary status on a thousand with no end in sight. 